Tash, first of all, before we look ahead to Man City at the weekend, let's reflect on the summer. You were appointed as captain of Reading SC Women. I'm sure it's a, a big honour for any player, isn't it? Yeah, no, it, look, it was fantastic. I remember she told me just before we were playing a friendly, we haven't had one all pre-season, so I wasn't expecting anything. Um, and I think that's probably what went in my favour, that I wasn't expecting it. But no, it was an absolute honour and a proud moment for me and my family and one that I'll probably never forget. I, don't, I think that was probably the only time in my life that I was speechless and didn't have anything to say, so no, it was good. I'm sure it shows what Kelly sees in you as well. So what, what do you think those qualities she's kind of, uh, that she's seen in you that, that wants you to be the leader of this team? Uh, I'm a positive person to be around, I think, and I'm genuine. I don't, well, I'm probably sat here blowing my own trumpet, toot toot, but you know, I'm a, I'm just, I think I'm just a good person to be around. And you know, I have my ups and downs as well, like any other normal person, but I try and make sure that it doesn't affect the group. And, yeah, I'd like to think as well that I bring a bit of footballing ability as well to the to the team. But for me, it was always about the girls and uh, and the the squad and the players that I have access to. So for me, it was I always put them first, and I think that's a good quality of a captain. I think. And you mentioned there as well the footballing ability and the leadership skills. I mean, there's a lot of that throughout the whole squad now, isn't there? They've got some serious players in the squad now, some really good personalities, and that's going to set us up very well for this season. Yeah, you know, to have vice captains of Farrah Williams, um, Remy Allen, you know, Farrah Williams has got 172 caps for England. I don't think they get any better than that. And, the, you know, being 16, 15, 16 years in the game at a high, high level. So for me, you know, she's an incredible. Um, you know, commander in chief as such. So, and Remy Allen again, she brings something different. Another experience playing, in, you know, played in the WSL since it started. But you've also got the likes of Jade Moore, Joe Potter. They bring to something different. Sophie Howard from like from Scotland national team, and then you've got the, some of the Norwegian girls. You know, it's, it's just I think everyone's complemented each other this year and has brought different things and different experiences. And I think that's what's made us come together as a collective. And, and all that preparation in pre-season. It was nice to see it come together as well last uh, last weekend, wasn't it? And that's the that's the right way to start a season. Yeah, look, we, we had 16 internationals away, and you know that's an incredible number to have before the first league game. So you know whether the the transfer or the international window needs to be looked at again, I don't know. But to have two games to prepare before your first league game, I think you know it, it's tough, it's hard, but we got through it. Sunday, you know, is important. We wanted to get three points. I think last year we probably would have drew that game and caved at certain times. But this year we have the grit and the determination and the character to see through games and our game management is developing all the time. So for me, I think it was a true reflection of what pre-season has been about. Do you feel like Reading might be going a little bit under the radar so far? I mean, it's one game into the season, but people have been talking about the likes of Man United coming up, the, the, the teams they normally talk about. But Reading... Um, it's like you say, strengthened in a lot of areas, had a good pre-season, so you know, hopefully can perform well again this year. Yeah, I think the people that we've brought in, and Harry James, fantastic midfield player, um, experience, you know, Christine, who sat behind me, um, you know, Lisa Utland, who's just come over, unbelievable player, plays for Rosengard, played in Champions League, um, Amalia Aikland, you know, we've got fantastic players, and I think we've done our business very shrewdly and gone under the radar with it. We haven't really put it in the press, nor a lot of people expect us to sign people that we have. Um, but for me, they've been some, in, you know, fantastic individuals, and we've also got a very talented Dutch young international who's, you know, hopefully will hit the ground running soon. Hopefully, a few more this season will come and see the team, whether it's at Adams Park or, or the games we've got here coming up as well. Yeah, look, I sat in the AGM at the start of the week with the supporters club and there was a lot of things that they were frustrated about in terms of trying to support us, they want to support us, but for where we're based right now, it's quite hard to get to on public transport. So that's something we're going to try and look at, you know, the, the, the people that are above us are going to try and sort out. But, you know, it's, it's you can tell it's a passionate fan base. And for me, you know, we do have some crossovers in terms of some of the men do come and support us, definitely. But I'm hoping that we'll gain some momentum now that you know with more success brings more fans and hopefully that'll happen and we'll start to pick up the points and do successful and and start winning more and you know hopefully we'll we'll see that with the the turn stars getting a bit higher and man city to kick off the home campaign doesn't really get a lot tougher than that they're one of the big teams aren't they in this division yeah exactly you know and with a big name like that hopefully we'll bring 
bigger crowds and that's what we're hoping for. That's why I think you, you, you as an individual you play this game and that's what fans want to see. They want to see a spectacle and I'm hoping that the game will be a very exciting one and I'm hoping that we get the three points as well. I mean, that would be a statement, wouldn't it, to, to kind of uh, to top one of those really, really big clubs? Yeah, and that's the thing. And you know, for us, is you know, we want to compete, but we're realistic as well. We're not going to sit here and say we're we're going to be number one and top of the league. But for us, we have to try and now challenge ourselves that next step. And these are the, the teams that we want to challenge ourselves against. And I'm sure Kelly's got you working on the game plan for this weekend as well. Oh yeah, that's that, that started as soon as the, the final whistle went. I think against Liverpool, so everyone's working hard and everyone's buying into everything that's happening. And we know. If we get things right, we'll hopefully get a result on Sunday. Very best of luck for the game. Cheers. Thank you very much.